Hey guys. Yeah, I know. There's some craziness growing, going on up here, okay? As you see, I have that. Two plastic bags, of course, you know, a shower cap, two plastic bags. Um, well, I guess I use that as a thermal deep conditioning cap and my bonnets to trap all that mess in. Okay. Uh, today is pre poo day. And then, of course, I'll get up very early in the morning to wash, condition, tangle, and deep condition. And then, through, through all work, I'm just going to let the leave in sit on. Oh, you know, do its own thing because I want to at least be on the leaving phase where I can just be like, yes, finally. Because I got stuff I got to do, you know. Um, okay. Since I ran out of the meow, well, we know why I can't, we canceled meow, okay. And I was using the meow Hawaiian ginger, um, deep, it's like an overnight conditioner, so I, that would be my pre poo. My hair loves it, but. I'm not buying anymore because Miel is canceled and I have too much stuff that I got to use up. So when I move out, I'm moving out. Okay. So what I've got is, I know it's got honey in there because it's sticky. <laughs> so I might've put too much honey, but hey, my hair loves honey. So my pre poo I made is honey, omelet um, powder. I know that much. Ashwagandha powder, fenugreek powder, and... I let ginger steep in there. I should have blended it because it could have got even more gingery. I know I added some cinnamon just for the smell, but next time if I do this one, I'm going to blend it and make the ginger chunks, you know, puree up in there because I love the smell and the feeling of ginger, but I can definitely smell it. I don't know how potent it is yet because I made it last month or shall I say in June. I always make a lot of shit a month ahead. I guess I got to be prepared, right? <laughs> so I've used up the last of it. Okay, so you really get three uses out of it. Or I get you three uses. Because I am a kinkier, coilier texture. My hair is 4B. I'm not going to lie and tell somebody I am 4C when I know I'm not. I may have a few strands that might, you know, be 4C. Or I could be a mixture of 4B and 4C. But to me, now that I'm getting to know my hair, I believe it is 4B, okay? I thought I was 4A. No. My coils are not that loose, but they are not as tight as 4C. So I will say I am at least 4B. If I have 4C texture in there, then it is a mixture, okay? I don't want to lie to nobody and confuse anybody. But really what I want to talk about is why I went natural. Okay. So, of course, I have to take you all the way back to when I first started uploading, like, 2017, right? So, 2017 was kind of a crazy year. 2018 was a crazy year. I didn't upload. 2019 was crazy. I didn't upload either, and I came back. I should have started uploading again in June. No. October of 2019. That's when I should have came back because that's when I got this place. But y'all would have seen me do different protective styles, you know, because that's all I did like last year was protective styling. You know, I really wasn't fooling with my hair that much. So I really wouldn't know. So now, of course, you know, during quarantine, you know, and you're doing your hair again. Look, you know what shit ain't working and what shit is. Sorry, I'm cursing. You know, I had something in my eye. Okay. I know that might be a little tacky for me to do that that way, but oh well. Ugh. Sorry. When I take you back to 2017 and my old apartment, okay? I'm talking like June 2017. I was on a hair journey discovery and I was still relaxed, but I noticed a few things. Upon being, you know, unemployed at the time, but I was still getting my unemployment. So I was able to buy more, spend more, play with my hair a bit more because I couldn't afford to get it done. I noticed my hair loves honey. My hair loves olive oil. If it's got honey and olive oil in my in the product, it's going to grow. It's going to thrive. Okay. Um, 
What inspired me to try that go natural? I started stretching my relaxers and I loved my curls because I would do a bunch of twist outs and it would just be so like, oh yes, this is amazing. Oh, I wonder what my real curls will look like without relaxer. So when I left my abusive ex in March, on March 2000 and March 2000, uh, when I left my abusive ex on March the 12th of 2018, Last, okay, I had a relaxer in December 2017. Then the next relaxer wasn't until April. And then the next one after that was not until 4th of July of 2018. And then after that, the next one was in September of 2018. And then the last one was on November 18 of 2018. So November this year will be two years natural two years november 15th will be two years yeah i really feel like if i wasn't pressured by you know everyone like oh my god what's going on with your hair it don't look right you know why don't you just go relax it that i would have never put another relaxer in my hair and december 2017 would have been when i would have you know that would have been the last one if i wasn't so pressured Then, of course, you know, I would be two years natural going into three years natural. But, hey, you live and you learn. That's like an 11-month difference. Seriously, it would have been almost that long if I wasn't that pressured to just, oh, your hair don't look right. Girl, what's going on? You know, but as I noticed, I stopped relaxing. It just became like, you know... November 2000 and, ooh, 15, uh, November 15th of 2018 was the last relaxer. So come January 2019, I, you know, still doing my hair, doing my wigs, twisting it out, doing my twist outs, doing my wigs, doing this, doing that. I was like, you know, I don't feel like doing my hair. Let me just leave it alone and see what it looks like. Let me just see what my natural texture looks like. And if I don't like it, I don't like it, then I'll relax. If I don't, I don't. But the more I started to notice my natural texture coming in, I started to love it. So I didn't want to add any more crazy chemicals or anything like that to my hair. And, you know, my mom is natural. She has been natural for eight years. Yes, eight years my mom has been natural. And my daughter has been natural all her life. So what inspired me to go natural was my daughter. I wanted her to love and adore her kinks because about a year, maybe two and a half years ago, she was like, mommy, she said something to my my mom. She was like, Nana, I don't feel pretty. Why am I so dark? Why am I so ugly? And I was like, what? I know exactly how you feel because as a child, I felt like that, you know, me being one of the darker girls in my school and I'm going to school with all these light skinned girls with this straight, less coilier hair, you know? So it was like a lot of pressure. My mom, why I was relaxed, it was my cousin's fault. They put relaxer in my hair when I was seven or shall I say six and a half, seven. You know, my mom was thinking, oh, okay, her hair is pretty. Then when she tried to wash it, she was like, it's straight. They thought that, It was a mix-up because they thought that my mom relaxed my hair. No, she always pressed my hair and she had no intentions of putting a relaxer in. So to combat that, my mother would just put the just for me kitty one. And, you know, I didn't have a professional real relaxer again until I was about 11. Yeah. So imagine from 7 to 11, you're getting relaxed. Then you get a professional relaxer from the time you're 11 years old all the way up until you are about 27 years old. That is an additional 16 and a half years of professional relaxers. And then I just, you know, I would just get it out the box and just do it myself and it would come out good. The relaxers that I did use was the ORS. You cannot go wrong with that ORS olive oil one. Um, That's one of the best ones. But my favorite is the cream of nature straight from Eden. If I were to relax again, 
those would be the only two relaxers I would use. But that's besides the point. Um, what inspired me to actually go natural was a comment, you know, hearing my daughter. And I was like, you know what? Let me go natural to embrace my coils. And it will help my daughter, you know. So my daughter inspired me to keep going, persevere, and go all the way natural. So I did. It's not always easy. It is a battle. If you think natural hair, oh, it's just, I don't have to do nothing to it. Huh? Somebody lied to you. For one, you're going to need patience. For two, you are definitely going to need to work at it, okay? You are not just going to wake up overnight. You're not just going to wake up after going to sleep. Your hair is all not right. Then you just wake up and it's miraculously beautiful and it's miraculously long. Hair don't grow overnight like that. You got to work at it, okay? I am serious. This has been a work in progress. Trials and errors. Ups and downs. I was loving some of Miel's products. I have to now cancel them, unfortunately, because of what they did to a YouTuber, which was horrible. I let it, we all, I think, forgot about it in May, but then you still want to harass her? Look, we YouTubers are entitled to our opinions. If we don't like it, we don't like it. If your shit don't work, it don't work. Do not call us, do not harass us, and bother us, okay? You still out of line for that, Miel. Yeah. I'm still bothered by that because I did love the products that I was using. Okay? I still have some left. And when they're gone, I'm not buying no more. Because y'all was way out of pocket and way out of line. That's all I'm going to say about that. But yes, finding stuff that works, it's trials and errors. Okay? You can have fun. You can play around with it. You can do so much to natural hair. Okay? Now I'm trying to find the right combination for the perfect wash and go. I'm still playing around with that because I know what works for twist outs. I know my hair likes twist outs, which I will still, you know, do <laughs> twist outs. But I'm trying to, you know, try the wash and go thing, give myself less time, less time on my hair. If that just don't work and it's like, no, wash and goes don't work for me, then I'm going to have to go back to twist outs because they do work for me. It's all about... You having, you got to have patience too. You got to drink water, hella water, if you want to see some growth. Um, I will say this. I did take a hair supplement, which is a liquid supplement. Najuri, it, the, it's the black bottle with the right whiting. Najuri is spelled N-Z-U-R-I. It is got like 45 to 61 essential vitamins. And that stuff had my hair so, th it, it thickened up my hair. I'll say between taking that and the Sulfur 8 Do Grow Challenge doing that, between them two, my hair has thickened up. Yes. I also take other, you know, my gummies, my gummies supplements. But I know that Najuri is the main thing because it's so nasty. The taste, I could still see the minerals at the bottom, you got to shake that stuff up real good. That one bottle will last you 32 days. So I took it for 64 days from May 29th all the way until August the 1st. I'm not buying no more. Why? It's nasty. It works, yes, but I can't get past that taste. That tastes nasty. That's why I'm not going to buy anymore. I'm not saying it doesn't work, but the taste is just nasty. So I will replace that with the Curls Blueberry Bliss Liquid Vitamins. Hopefully that tastes better because I've been wanting to try that. That has been on my radar. But what I will say is when you are natural, enjoy it. Embrace your texture. It's yours. Nobody's texture is the same or density or porosity those are two different subjects, but still, since y'all want to get into this hair typing, I'm telling you, I have like a Z coily, kinky pattern. Yes, I am in the fours. I know that. I thought I was maybe like a 3C slash 4A. No, that's not possible. My hair is thickening up more and more and more and more. 
I am at least a 4B, at least. Maybe in the beginning when it was coming in, it was coming in, oh, it's 3A. Or no, maybe it was like, oh, it's 4A, you know, maybe in the beginning. But no, as my hair has thickened up, it is a 4B at least, okay? When I was relaxed, I was a 4, no, when I was relaxed, I was a 3C hair type, 3C. When I was relaxed, as I started to transition, it started to, and the relaxer started to grow out, it started to slowly become 4A. Now, since it's got even thicker, it is a 4B texture, okay? I think since it is finally in its naturalist state, it is going to stay at least a 4B. If I was to relax, it would go back to a 3C. But I'm not going to do that, not no time soon. I want to give my natural hair a chance, okay? Now, as it gets longer, it may be a mixture of 4A and 4B, but right now, it's not a teeny weeny afro. It's a meany teeny. Well, it's starting to grow out of teeny weeny afro phase. Because it's so coily and my curls, they curl inside of each other. Okay? So if I was to stretch it, I would be stretching. And certain curls, if I were to pull it, it would come down to like right here. Okay? But in its shrunken state, it looks like a teeny weeny afro it's starting to finally sprout out a little bit if y'all wanted to know so i would say i'm growing slowly out of that teeny weeny afro phase okay it's starting to get to be a teeny medium little teeny afro it's growing a little bit more now next year I would love to have my curls stretched to my shoulders so that way I know I will have a lot of length. That'll be cute shoulder length curls that you can just, ah. Yeah, that'll be great. Maybe that'll happen next year around this time. I'm giving it patience. So I'll say next year. I won't say this year because there's still a lot more I have to learn and a lot more I have to do. And as I see breakage or anything that looks like it's trying to split, of course I'm a snip, you know? I'm going to trim off anything that look like it's breaking. We don't want that. But my daughter, I wanted to give her hope. And you know what? She's been natural all her life. And she's the sweetest, cutest little kid. So that's just kind of a backstory of why I went natural. I actually started to fall in love with my hair. And I started to have more patience with it. And during quarantine, Lord, you need patience. And trust me. I'm not the most patient person in the world, but I have been patient with my hair. It takes me time. Now, if I thought when I was relaxed and I was doing a lot that it took me two hours, this is taking at least three, okay? Maybe three to four because it's thick. Wash day. Okay, when I wash this pre-poo out, that's going to take me 30 minutes off top to wash everything out. Shampoo it. And conditioning, that's 45 minutes. So you get what I'm saying? That's like an hour and 15 minutes, okay? Deep condition, that's going to take 30 to 45 more minutes, possibly an hour. So that's like up to two hours already. Styling going to take me at least an hour, hour and a half, even especially if I was doing a twist out. So that's about three and a half hours. If I just wash and go, that's still two and a half hours. It's two and a half to three and a half hours of doing my natural hair. So yes. I know it takes patience and even detangling. So that's at least two and a half to three and a half, maybe four hours of doing my natural hair. So my loves, enjoy your natural hair. Embrace it. Oh, you're going to have to drink some water. I'm up to six bottles a day this month, which reminds me I've got to get some more water for tomorrow, which... I will when I get paid again, but that's just pretty much a backstory of why I went natural. All right, I hope y'all have enjoyed this video. Natural hair is freedom, and I wanted the freedom also, and I also wanted to inspire my daughter with how beautiful she is. So that's the main reasons, and I was loving my natural curls coming in.
So that's why I stayed the course and just full on became natural. All right. Bye, fans. Love y'all. Bye. Mwah.